Hi there, I'm Ken, owner of LilyFlowerStore.com, Perry's Tree Farm Nursery here in Oregon. Today we're going to do a short video on how to recognize soft rot and what to do about it. Soft rot is a disease caused primarily by overwatering, heavy irrigation, or, and or poor drainage, or a combination of all of the above. <laughs> so what you'll need is a small garden trowel. I prefer this over a shovel because you can seriously damage the bulb as you're digging it with a garden shovel or a small spade. So <clears throat> what I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is show you some healthy calla lily plants as they are developing and also some calla lily bulbs that are infected with soft rot. So let's get started. Okay, here we have a healthy calla yeah! lily bulb and it's sprouting about the six, six inch level, which is more than likely the stage at which you're going to start seeing soft rot developing the bulb. Again, you'll see a lot of nice healthy shoots coming and the older leaves are nice and green and healthy. Okay, in contrast, you're going to see a bulb that is infected with soft rot. The leaves will come up and die off and lay on the ground. This is the late stage on, the, on some of the older leaves. You'll also notice here, there's one that's sprouted and it's tipped over. Okay, that's infected with soft rot. It's just not developing leaves like this one or this one or here. Although this is part of the same bulb. So you can also pull it out and examine it a little closer. You can see it's tipped over, it's trying to recover, but done. So let's dig this bulb up and see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. So we're going to start out quite a ways from it. We have one bulb pretty close, but I think if we get right in through here, we'll be okay. And again, if you watch my other video, I'm going to make the circle around and very carefully in between these two bulbs. I'm going to go down just very gently and we're good. All right, and there's our bulb. Now one thing you'll notice, or may notice when you first pull that infected bulb up, it'll just more or less fall apart on you. And bear with me here to take my gloves off. The part that fell apart, you can see some brown, brownish area. That should be white, like the root, and that's infected. We're going to examine the main bulb and when you dig that up you pull this dead material off you squeeze a little bit if you feel any soft that's soft rot okay top bottom it doesn't matter but mostly on the tops where you'll find it so you can pull that apart and there's your soft rot okay see it's all mushy you smell it Ooh, rotten. Okay. Now sometimes you can save some of these, but not very often. You can, uh, if, if there's just one small portion of the bulb that's infected, you might be able to save it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to wash that off, and I'll show you what, what the bulb looks like. Hold on, let me get my hose. Okay. Wash it off good. Now the water pressure will 
clear out a lot of that rot and you'll be able to see what's what's going on you can see there's a cavity here that's the bacteria dark spots on your bulb that's the bacteria and this is this bulb is too far gone okay this should be nice and full in here nice and full and it's not so we're going to destroy this bulb before it infects other other plants hope you can see those dark spots that's soft rot okay let's go to our healthy plant and i'll show you the difference okay once again I'm sure you can readily see the difference between the infected bulb and the non-infected bulb. Nice green, healthy plants. The shoots are coming up straight. They're not bent over. Okay, so let's dig this one up. And we'll see, I'll show you what a healthy one would look like. There's some roots. Like I said, they can extend out 12 inches or more. And tip it up. Now in contrast again, you can see there's a nice ball of, of potting mix or soil around the plant. It's not falling apart. Okay. So we're going to shake that a little bit. Feels nice and firm on the base and the top. Tap it out a little bit. There's your nice, healthy calla bulb. Okay, lots of roots showing. It's not falling apart. So I'm gonna, the bottom is nice and firm. I'm gonna wash this off. You can see, now the, the bottom of the bulb, you're gonna see some of this, this is old, tissue so that's going to naturally just go with the water okay there's your nice a nice healthy bulb so let's pull the stem out you can see it's not falling apart Okay, nice and hard. Let me take my glove off here. And I'm gonna have to pull the rest of these off to get to the top of the bulb so I can show you what a nice hard, how hard it is. I'm filming this by myself so I have to keep checking the screen to make sure we get the full view in here. Okay, there's the top of your bulb. Nice and hard, no soft areas. So that's a keeper. Okay, there's the bottom again. Nice and hard. So we're gonna set this on the table, let the roots dry out and put it in storage. Oh, I want to show you the comparison. See if I can get the get these in view here. This is your infected bulb. And this is your healthy bulb. Same age, same size when they were originally planted. Okay. There you have it. So we're going to set this good one on the table and throw that one away. Okay, so we've dug our healthy and not so healthy bulb out and if you want to try to save an infected bulb with soft rot sometimes it is possible but in this case doubtful so for illustration purposes I'm going to show you how to how to dip this and if you want to try to save a healthy bulb that has just a small spot such as a 
a half inch circle or, or something of that sort. Let me zoom in here. Okay, a small spot such as a half inch or less, it is possible. So what you want to use is a fixed copper solution and I mix this up in a jug of water and you want to use uh, waterproof gloves to do this and you want to have a, a long long stem on your bulb so you're not touching your your uh, dip afterwards and it's best to use waterproof gloves like I said so what you want to use is fixed copper and water and mix that up thoroughly and add a little sticker in with it so it adheres to the bulb over the winter. So this is how you, all you do. Then you want to mix you want to mix a half a tablespoon per gallon of water. Just dip it and hold it there for a minute or two minutes. Okay and then pull it out and set it outdoors on a raised table above ground level so pets don't get to it or kids. Let me zoom out here and let it dry <clears throat> excuse me let it dry for a day or two and then cut your cut your stem off when it's dry at the base or pull it out and then put it in storage. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go to my website, lilyflowerstore.com. And at the bottom left hand side of the home page, you'll see a link info at lilyflowerstore.com. You can click on that and email your questions. Thanks for watching.